In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly camera track vertical footage in Blender. So the first thing we need to do is open up the video editing tab and you can do that by clicking this plus button and scrolling down to and selecting video editing. Next, drag your footage into the timeline. As you can see, our footage is sideways. We need to convert it to vertical. So come over to the output properties tab and change the resolution to 1080 on the X by 1920 on the Y. And if you're working with 4K footage, it would be 2160 by 3840. Next, come over to transform and change the rotation to 90 degrees. Degrees. Perfect. Now I'm going to right click the clip and select set preview range to strips. Then go over to the output. I'm going to set the last frame of the clip to 215. The frame rate output to 24 frames per second. Next, I want to export the clip to a JPEG image sequence. Click on this folder and select where you want your image sequence to be stored. Then press Control F12 to export the image sequence. We can now delete this clip from the timeline. It's no longer needed. Come into the motion tracking tab, which you can find by selecting this plus icon. Clicking on VFX and selecting the motion tracking tab. Now we need to import our image sequence into Blender, which is easy. Click on open and navigate to where you stored your image sequence. All you have to do is click on the first image of the image sequence and click open clip. Boom. Next, click on set scene frames and then select prefetch to load your clip into memory. I'm going to go to the first frame of my sequence and I'm going to change the tracking settings. So I'm going to set the motion model to affine and the match to previous frame and I'm going to select normalize so that the track is not affected by any changes in light. Now I'm going to click on detect features. Then on this 12 down button in the corner here, I'm going to change the distance to 80. I'm going to change the threshold to 0 0.330 and the margin to 32. Nice. Now I'm going to track forwards by pressing control T. Now with all my markers selected, I'm going to press H to hide them all and click on detect features again. I want more markers to show on the floor, so I'm going to change the distance to 72 and the threshold to 0 0.250. Yep, that's fine. And to track backwards, I'm going to press Shift Control T, making sure all my markers are highlighted, which you can easily do by pressing A over the image. I'm going to press H to hide them. And I'm going to do this one more time, but start in the middle of my clip. So I'm going to go to about frame 73, press Detect Features, press Control T to track forwards. Go back to frame 73, press the shift control T to track backwards. Nice. Now I want to reveal every single tracker. So I'm going to press Alt H. Once that's done, go into the solve tab, click on keyframe, then turn on focal length, optical center and radial distortion and click on solve camera motion. And as you can see, we have a solve error of 5.53 pixels, which is terrible, but not to worry, we can easily fix this. Click on the 12 down button next to clean up and I'm gonna select filter tracks. Now it has identified 15 problematic tracks so I'm going to press X, then select OK to delete them. Now I'm going to click on the solve camera motion again. And we now have a pixel error of 0.95, which is good, but I think we can do better. So what I'm going to do is I want Blender to delete every single track that's above the error of two pixels. So I'm going to set this to two and click on this and select delete track, then press clean tracks. And I'm going to click on solve camera motion again. Brilliant. And now we have a pixel error of 0.68, which is very good. Now that I'm happy with all tracks, I'm going to hover over the image Press A to select them all and press Control L to lock them just so I don't accidentally select and move them. Perfect. I'm going to select this marker and click on Set Origin. So this will now be the middle of my scene and I'm going to select these three markers. So click on this marker, hold Shift, click on this one, then this one and come over to the orientation and click on Floor to make sure this is the floor plane of my clip. Now that that's done, I'm going to go back into the Layout tab, select my camera Press num delete on the keypad to put it in frame. Then whilst my camera is selected, select the object constraints tab, click on add object constraint and select camera solver. Now this camera has all the tracked data we just solved. Next, click on the camera object properties, click on background image, add image, select movie clip, click on this camera slate image and your image sequence or your video clip should appear here Select it and now if you press zero on your numpad, we should see our clip projected through the camera. Next, I'm going to add a plane, press shift A, mesh, add plane and I'm going to press a space bar to see how the track is looking. As you can see, the track is completely off and that's because we need to do one more thing. So select your camera, open up the camera properties, click on this camera 12 down button and this is the most important thing when tracking vertical footage. Do not forget this step. Change the sensor fit 
to either vertical or horizontal. For me, I found that changing it to horizontal work, but it might work for you if you set it to vertical. You just need to switch between the two and find out what selection works for you, either vertical or horizontal. I'm gonna add a cube so we can see how the track is looking a bit better. Shift A, add cube, gonna make it smaller and move it up so it's resting on the plane. Perfect. Now I'm gonna press space bar to see how the track is looking. And that looks like the track is solid. I'm gonna change the plane to a shadow catcher by selecting it, coming over to object properties, then clicking on visibility. And next to mask, select shadow catcher. So when we go to rendered view and add a light, the cube will have a shadow on it. And if you wanna see your clip through the camera in rendered view, click on rendered properties, click on film and select transparent. And that's it. That's how you properly camera track vertical footage in Blender. My name's Jermaine. If you found this helpful, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.